So if you really want to know how it is to be light-skinned in America, I will tell you everything I know and what I know about it. What I have learned is, is that light-skinned people do get better treatment. There are advantages to being light-skinned versus being dark-skinned. There is favoritism when you're light-skinned versus when you're dark-skinned. There is more understanding and more compassion for being light-skinned instead of being dark-skinned. Now, you can say whatever you like. You can get as mad as you want. You can get as happy as you want. It really doesn't matter because it's only the simple truth. Now, are there disadvantages in being light-skinned? Yeah. But no one wants to hear that because if you think that it's an advantage being light-skinned, you don't want to hear the pity party of the other side being light-skinned. Now, being dark-skinned, does it have its disadvantages? Yes. But this is the only part that we choose to speak upon is how Caucasians or how Asians or how Mexicans view dark-skinned people. Now, if you're dark-skinned and you allow those views and those prejudices to stop you or you believe them, then you're just cutting yourself short. Now, what are some of the advantages of being dark-skinned? You probably don't know because you ain't heard them, but you know on the inside. I know them because I watch. That's what I do. I just, I watch. I watch everybody. I mean, the reality of being light-skinned, let me break some news to you. Like, I very seldom ever look in the mirror. I mean, whatever's inside of me is inside of me. It's like I can't see myself, so I don't wake up going, whew, thank God I'm light-skinned. Man, the world is wide open. light skin I can't say it's ever gotten me a job but it's kept me from a lot of jobs like I DJ in adult entertainment clubs you know I DJ for 27 years for 17 years ago I was in adult entertainment clubs and I knew if I walked in there dressed up or looking nice that most likely I wouldn't get a job because he probably likes some girls in there he might look at me and say, oh, you light-skinned old little pretty boy or whatever they call me, I mean, white boy, whatever. You know, he might think I'm trying, like, to get into his hen flock or whatever, chicken coop or whatever, so I don't get the job. But I'm like, dude, I got a woman, I got a child, I could care less. I'm here to make my money. I'm a DJ. Let me DJ. Being light-skinned got me into a lot of fights on the basketball court, a lot of fights in school because, hell, that's the white boy. <laughs> Like, I'm going to show you I'm hard. Let me pick on the white boy. Well, okay. You know, like I said, I ain't, I ain't know I was there. And all right. So now you might want to go to dark skin. And be like, well, don't know about everybody looking at me. Everybody talk about me. Everybody think that I'm ugly or whatever. That's everybody except for dark skin people know that's bullshit. Now. You might not be reflected as beautiful on the TV screen because the only thing that's reflected as beautiful on the TV screen is white. White women are always projected as beauty. I mean, even when they show the evil people, that the evil things that white people do, our mind is so conditioned. All we see is the beautiful things that they do and what they get, and the housewives and stuff. Well, most of them are unattractive. I mean, but... It doesn't make a difference if your mind is sick. The one thing I notice about the world is everything is actually the opposite of what you actually see. So if you see that dark-skinned people are ugly, and you see that white people are beautiful, and light-skinned people are in the middle, then most likely in reality it's the other way around. Now, you have to ask yourself, what constitutes beauty? What makes me look at you and say that you are a beautiful woman? For myself as a man, it's about reproducing. 
And one thing, if you ever study nature or anything about yourself, you'll understand that when we reproduce, we try to get with the best, highest quality of another individual to breed with them so that our child or offspring will have the best chance to win. What do you mean win? Succeed. Win. It's the exact same thing. So, now when I get ready to choose my woman, I want a woman with strength, confidence, agility, good genes, smart. Because if I have a child with her and I have some good qualities, then maybe our child will take the best qualities of her and me and then they will supersede me and have a greater chance for success, which I'm involved in. Which I live through vicariously. So if my child is successful, then I've done a great job as a man, as a husband, and as a parent. So, now, here are my choices out here. I have Caucasian women to choose from, Asian women to choose from, Mexican women to choose from, and I have black women to choose from. Now, for me, with what I understand, what I read, what I know, and what I feel on the inside, I choose dark-skinned women. Not for brownie points, not to prove a point. I'm having a child. I could care less about the politics of what anybody else thinks. I have to go by what I know and what I feel on the inside. I want my child to be healthy. I want my child to have agility. I want my child to be smart. I want my child to be kind. I want my child to have the best possible chance of winning. Now, I know that dark-skinned people are actually naturally superior to all of us, including the light-skinned male, light-skinned female, the Mexican male and female, the Asian male and female, and yes, even the Caucasian male and female. I am telling you by studying, by watching, by knowing, by learning, that dark-skinned people are superior to all of us. Caucasians know this. They know it. That's why they downgrade dark-skinned people. Never let them know who they are. Because if they ever know who they are, there's nothing, there's nothing we can do to stop them. Think about sports without black people. Boring. Singing without black people. Boring. Church without black people. Boring. Dancing without black people. Boring. Life in itself is nothing. It's so boring. No culture on earth has the entertainment value. Can do with things that black people can do. I mean, even with medicines, with art, with even understanding God. You see, the darker you are, the more melon that you have. The more melon that you have, the more you are in tune with the universe when the song plays, when the beat plays, when the rhythm plays, the more melon you have, the more you're automatically in tune. Now, bringing about your intelligence to understand these things is a work that we all have to do. We all have gifts, but they have to be worked or you're at your basic. That's what it is.